morning and welcome to another episode of GSC at Home. My name is Abby and today we are going to be learning about buoyancy and make our very own Cartesian diver. So let's start with a question. What is buoyancy? Well buoyancy is a force and a force pushes or pulls an object. An important example of a force is gravity, the force that pulls everything down to the ground at 9.8 meters per second per second. And it doesn't matter how much an object weighs. Unlike gravity, buoyancy relates to whether an object will float or sink in a liquid or a gas. Buoyancy was discovered by a Greek mathematician named Archimedes, who came up with a principle to explain what he had observed when he was taking a bath one day over 2,000 years ago. Archimedes was tasked with building a gigantic boat by a Sicilian king. The boat was to be 50 times bigger than a standard boat of the time and was to house towers, temples, a bathhouse and even a gym. It also had to carry over 1,000 people. Archimedes was unsure how the boat would float with all that weight on board. So he decided to have a bath while he was puzzling over this problem and then suddenly, Eureka! He had the answer and went streaking through the streets to celebrate. Archimedes' principle states that any body completely or partially submerged in a fluid, either liquid or gas, at rest is acted upon by an upward or buoyant force which is equal in magnitude to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. So that's a bit of a mouthful, so let's break it down with an experiment. So in our experiment, we are going to place an object into water, in this case, blue water. When an object is placed into water, water is displaced or moved out the way to make space for the object. There is an upward force acting on the object placed in the water, the buoyant force. The buoyant force is equal to the weight of water displaced. In this case, the water that spilled over the edge of the glass and collected in the bowl. And it comes to 67 grams. Keep that number in mind. Objects float if the buoyant force is greater than the weight of the object and objects will sink if the buoyant force is less than the weight of the object. In our case, our object is the same weight pretty much as the weight of the water displaced. This is an example of neutral buoyancy and the object will neither float upwards or sink downwards. Archimedes principle is used today by engineers to build ships. The hull or bottom of a boat can be quite large, which means there is a large volume of water displaced, resulting in a large upward or buoyant force. Buoyancy is also used by fish to help them adjust their depth. They can do this using a swim bladder. They add or remove air to or from their swim bladder to allow them to float or sink a little bit more and maintain a particular depth. In a similar way to fish, divers must also be able to control their buoyancy. Scientists and engineers who worked on diving equipment took inspiration from nature. In fact, divers use an air bladder to control their depth just like fish. So now we are going to make our very own Cartesian diver and for that you are going to need a few things. The first thing is a bottle of water. I've added a bit of blue food colouring to mine to make it look a bit more like the ocean. We're going to need a glass of water, some reusable tack or plasticine will work just fine. Also a pen cap, one that looks just like this and a piece of kitchen towel just in case things get a little bit messy. The first thing we are going to do is, if you have a hole in the top of your pen cap, we are going to cover it over with a little piece of tack or plastic. Just like that. So now we're going to see what happens when we place our diver into our glass of water. So it's floating on the surface of the water and that's not really what divers do. So let's take them out and dry them off. So we need to add a little bit of weight to our diver. So we're going to add a little bit more plasticine or tack. I'm going to add it along this part of the pen cap just like that. Make sure you don't cover over 
the bit where the pen usually goes. Let's see what happens now. So now our diver is doing a little bit of a bob at the surface and is upright. So we're getting there. Let's dry them off again. I'm gonna add a bit more. Let's see what happens now. Excellent, so our diver is now bobbing just above the surface and that's exactly where we need them to be. So now our divers are gonna take a little dip in the ocean. We're gonna place our diver into our bottle. They should still be bobbing at the surface. Put the lid on. So if we squeeze the bottle, our diver should sink down to the bottom and if we release they bob back to the surface. See that again? Release. So what's going on here? Well when we squeeze the bottle we are increasing the pressure on everything inside the bottle including the water, the air at the top of the bottle and the air bubble inside the diver. The increased pressure squeezes the air bubble in the diver so the bubble displaces less water. As we learned with Archimedes, this means it is less buoyant, so the diver sinks to the bottom. When we release the bottle, the pressure decreases and the air bubble expands. The diver's buoyancy increases and so they float back to the surface. I hope you had fun today making your own diver and exploring buoyancy. If you have any questions or you would like to share your science experiment with us, please leave a comment below or tag us on social media using hashtag GSD at home. We'd love to hear from you. That's it for me today, but tune in again at 10am every weekday for your daily dose of science.